I'm Robin Nicholson and this is my son Torin and we farm in the middle of Pembrokeshire. We've got a dairy here of 200 cows and 300 other cattle. We're an all grass based system. Uh, we currently farm about 480 acres and uh, primary income uh, sources are, are the dairy cows. My parents bought the farm in 1969. I'm second generation, Torin hopefully will be the third. Uh, yeah, so I've um, just completed my degree in agriculture uh, where I wrote my dissertation on foliar feeding, which sort of inspired the, the purchase of the toe and foot. Um, it all stems from a trial we ran on the farm three or four years ago. Results of the trial indicated that you can grow more high quality grass using less fertilizer through foliar feeding, which then led to us buying the toe and foot 1200. We had very, very good results, replicated trials. Well, savings are about 60 to 70 percent on fertilizer and growing the same amount of grass. It gave us the uh, confidence to purchase the machine. It basically, you, you use a much kinder of fertilizer, urea is kinder than ammonium nitrate. You're using a much lower rate and you're feeding the plant, uh, well, d directly. The plant really wants proteins and energy, that's what you're trying to feed it. So uh, you're bypassing one of the, the steps for the plant. It's going into the leaf rather than through to the soil and into the roots. Also through soil application, the, the, the roots are having to take up quite a large quantity of nitrogen all in one go. It's taken in through the root system of the plant, whereas this is taken in through the canopy and it's translocated into the roots then. So it feeds the soil and the crop at the same time. Um, and the humates in the mix help the, the mix to stick to the leaf so, it's, so it doesn't wash off. On the toe and foot mix calculator app, there's a lot of different ingredients that you can put in a tank mix. It's so convenient being on the phone. Um, I can even do it in the field. I can do it when I'm mixing. It shows you your rate of application for different trace elements. So it shows you how much you're putting on per hectare of sulfur, for example, magnesium, nitrogen. The water goes into the machine first um, and then I apply the, all the biologicals, so the humates, some foliar zinc as well, yeah, and uh, C90 sea salt and then in goes the, the, the nitrogen, the urea then at a rate of about 20 to 30 kilos per hectare, so it's not a vast rate but it seems to perform quite well. Generally you can mix in the, in the yard, it doesn't take long, and then drive to the field and it's mixed by the time we get to the field. Once you're on the tractor, you, all you do do it works hydraulically. Just go to the field, and the boom's filled out, pump into gear, and off you go. The operation of the machine is really quite simple. It's quite a robustly built machine. Uh, there's nothing really that can go wrong on it, and if anything does go wrong, then it's quite simple to fix on farm. Um, the dealer backup we get as well is really good. They're always at the other end of the phone um, with any solutions that that we may need. It's, it's not a very fine mist, it's fine enough to work. You obviously want a lap dry leaf if you can, and then it, it's taken into the pores on the, on the grass. From our um, forage analysis, we found that the sugars in the grass are quite a bit higher than they had been previously. Improved dry matter as well, because there's not so much nitrogen left in the leaf, so we get an improved dry matter percentage. So getting the soil working more effectively, and that in turn results in improved grass quality as well. Well, milk ureas last year were noticeably lower than they had been um, when we're using prill fertilizer, which is uh, beneficial for the cow because she doesn't have to eat excess protein, so the cow is healthier. We found that in uh, ryegrass clover swards, using less nitrogen fertilizer allowed the clover to recover from years of suppression. If something's worked for years, you're very reticent to change. But the economics of it for us, we knew we had to change. So I think a lot of farmers should be thinking, OK, the price of fertilizer is going to be down. But even now, you'd be saving a significant amount. And so that, that, that's for us is one of the major things. And obviously the, the other added benefits that you can put other things through the machine and the, helping the soil biology. There's enough evidence on this country to show that it works and just to get on and do it. Don't hang about because the savings and the benefits are so great.